The first American automobile was invented by Charles Edgar Duryea and his brother Frank in 1893. A car is defined as a road vehicle, typically with four wheels, powered by an internal combustion engine and able to carry a small number of people. The car allowed people to travel much easier and faster than ever before. Such an invention took a major toll on society, ultimately changing the dynamic in which Americans were able to get from place to place. The first stationary gasoline engine developed by Carl Benz was built solely upon a one-cylinder, two-stroke unit and an internal combustion engine in the rear. The motor vehicle revolutionized the lives of men and women all over the nation. These new inventions enabled people to travel at a much faster rate, ultimately allowing them to get from place to place in a shorter amount of time. One notable change that occurred in a result of this wonderful invention was the rate in which things were produced. Goods and other services were exponentially increased, furthering our nation's economy. As you can see in this graph, there was a major increase in employment and services from the early 1900s until today. From around 55% of people working in jobs and services around 1900, rising to about 95% in the year 2010. You could also see around the year 1910 how there's a little jump because of Henry Ford instituting his assembly line. The Model T introduced mass production and single-handedly brought us from a horse and buggy level of technology to one where we had machines that were run by gasoline engines. Using a moving assembly line, Henry Ford was able to build these things in about one-tenth the time it took to build uh, other vehicles by hand previous to the Model T. And uh, they were by far the most popular and most plentiful vehicle on the road. And here you can see the assembly of the 15 millionth, which is a four-door convertible model. And as you can see, they've added some paint colors other than just black. And that actually is Henry Ford there uh, driving off the assembly line and uh, driving in that uh, 15 millionth Model T Ford. Some of the negative aspects of the car would have to be the effect it has on air pollution. It's said that half of the air pollution is caused by automobiles. Also, this diagram shows how the gas from a car can go into the food that we plant into the ground and also the fish in the sea, which is essentially the food that we eat. And then it shows how the food that we eat gets consumed into our body. Nearly 1.3 million people die in road crashes each year. Although that may be, as shown in the graph, over the years, the rate in which uh, car accidents are occurring is actually decreasing. As with many things in life, change at first is seemingly difficult to get a handle upon. However, after some time, things started to take off for the automobile. The popularity of automobiles reverberated throughout the economy in other ways as it created the need for a number of other, smaller industries. Different types of metals, glasses, and plastics all became necessary in larger quantities than ever before. This created an economic boom in manufacturing industries throughout the nation. Additionally, automobiles allowed the American public to travel to new places more efficiently and cheaply than ever before. Truman Bradley speaking for your local Chrysler dealer. And tonight I have a real challenge for you because we believe that 15 minutes here can change 15 years of car buying habits. And that's especially true if you now drive one of the two major competitive cars in Chrysler's price class. In fact, every day more and more folks just like you are making the big switch to the exciting new 56 Chrysler. But let's spend a Saturday morning with the owners of this sleek new power style Chrysler, and I'll show you some of the reasons why. Notice how your neighbors look with admiration as you drive out in your new Chrysler. And no wonder, from the rakish flare of its new flight-swept rear fenders, right up to its bold but elegant new front styling, the new power style Chrysler emphasizes the forward look of power in motion. Looks like it's still moving, even when it stops. Some design. I'm Angela Rodriguez, and thank you for watching.